Hi, I'm James Sarkovsky and this is my inbox. Hello James, my name's Jake. I would like to ask you, do you enjoy being vice captain? Hi Jake. Um, yeah, I love being vice captain. It's a, it's a great honour um, to wear the armband on a match day whenever Seamus isn't isn't in the eleven. Um, so yeah, I'm very fortunate, um, and I'm, 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 it's great working under Seamus Coleman as well. Um, seeing his leadership skills, the way he runs this place day to day, um, <clears throat> with, with the way he trains, the way he talks, um, just everything about him. So yeah, it's been a great honour for me. My name is Joseph, and I am a season ticket holder at Everton Football Club. And here's my question, how do you stay motivated and confident during long periods of play? Hi Joseph, I think for myself, um, I think it's just about remaining concentrated. Um, my, my primary goal in the game is to stop the ball going to the back of our netter, so uh, my focus is to stop that throughout the game and staying concentrated, staying switched on um, and being aware throughout the game is the most important thing for me. Um, so that's how I keep my motivation up. Hi Tarky, thank you for choosing Everton and being such a good role model for the Everton football team. My question, as an experienced footballer, what do you think Jared Branthwaite has taught you in terms of football and or life? First of all, thanks for, for the compliment and, and I love playing for this club. Um, I think from, from playing alongside Jared, uh, he plays so maturely and so calmly. Um, I wish I, I wish I would have learned that so young as well. Um, I'm still sort of taking that on from him because with the way, when he receives the ball, the way he, he, he looks so composed and moves it. Um, I, I wish I could sort of be a bit more like that in my game. Um, I'm, so, I'm so sort of on edge of me defending a lot of the time. I can get a little bit carried away in the ball. Um, so yeah, probably Jared's composure and his calmness really. All right, Taki lads. It's Tom Hartley here, currently in Ranchi, India. Um, my question for you is, if you could watch cricket at any ground in the world, which one would it be? Hi, Tom. Well done, on, well done on the tour, you're doing well. Um, ooh, which cricket round would I go to? Um, probably somewhere in Australia for the Ashes, so we'll go for the MCG, I think. Yeah, but anywhere in Australia, the Gabba, something like that. Yeah, any of them. Hi James, I'm Isabel, and you're my favourite football player. My question is, who was your favourite football player when you were little? Hi Isabel, um, thank you very much. And my favourite footballer, ooh, that's a good question. My favourite footballer growing up when I was a kid was David Beckham. My current favourite footballer, ooh, I'm going to go for probably Kevin De Bruyne. Just he seems to have something a little bit different from everyone else out there who, who's so good. Um, he has something that's very unique, the way he passes the ball and moves the ball and strikes a football. Hey T-Bone, this is Gabe from America and I got a question for you. <laughs> if you could go back in the past 200 years, or if you could go into the future 200 years, which one would you do and why? I look forward to your answer. Up the toffees. <laughs> he got me T-Bone. <laughs> Does he know I've got a tattoo with a T-Bone? Is that why he said that? <laughs> I thought I was doing common knowledge. That's mental. Hi, Gabe. Um, I would probably... Oh, that's a good question. I'd like to find out what he'd do. I'm going to go... I'm going to go backward 200 years because then I think we'll be able to see how much we should be grateful for today because imagine living 200 years ago was a lot more difficult than it is now. Talkie, you're my favourite player for Everson. And uh, me and my dad love it when you do your talky steamrolling tackles. <laughs> but And then my dad tells me to do a talky steamrolling tackle when I get stuck in. But he also says, stay on your feet. So how do you decide to stay on your feet or do a talky steamroller? That's my um, question. But also, I've got you in my FC24 mobile team and you're my best defender and every time I slide tackle I never give away a free kick and I always get stuck in with a talky steamroller. <laughs> I wish you the talky steamroller tackle. <laughs> now that's how that you might be a talky steamroller. <laughs> awesome. Um, there was so much information in there. Um, first of all, I think 
Deciding between a Taki steamroller and a normal tackle is um, knowing you're going to win the ball. So I have to be certain I'm going to win the ball because if I don't, um, I may be <laughs> pushing the limit and close to being around a red card. Um, so yeah, that's probably my, my, my main focus is, is, is if I can get the ball, I'm considering a Taki steamroller, which is also going to click on now and everyone's going to call it a Taki steamroller. <laughs> Hi Tarki, greetings from Brazil. Um, right now we are celebrating Carnival here in Brazil, and uh, as you know, we have like a lot of dancing involved, you know. So I have to ask you, who's the best dancer on the team? Um, who's the one that uh, would enjoy the most the Carnival here in Brazil? Bye. Um, oh, sure, this is quite obvious. Surely Amadeo Nan is the most obvious person to be dancing in Brazil, singing. Um, I think he's probably got the most rhythm. Uh, definitely not me. Uh, probably me and Seamus would be the two that you'd probably <laughs> want to try and avoid at Brazilian Carnival Day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for Amadou. I'm sure you get Jordan yelling questions all the time, but you guys act like brothers out there. But when he is yelling at you, do you want to scream back at him like, yeah, I know, I get it. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that's what I do. Um, yeah, he, he does like to shout. I've got used to him. I have got used to him over time. Um, when, I, when, I, when I first started playing in front of him and realising how much information he needs to get across every four seconds, it was difficult to take on board. Um, but we've played a fair few games together now, so um, we've learned to communicate well. I think he's, he's, he's improved on his communication style and I've improved on my listening style. And uh, yeah, it's a quite a good partnership, I'd say. Thanks for all your questions. Um, they're all fantastic, very interesting ones. Uh, but my favourite has got to go to the young lad with the tacky steamroller tackle. So um, I'm going to sign a show up, I'm going to send it out to you. Uh, and there's a tacky steamroller coming in soon. And then let us know in the comments who you want next to sit in this seat and ask some questions. <laughs>